I'll do it. Hi. Welcome to the official podcast. This is a very special episode because every every episode of this show is very special. Uh, we are here with your four original fancy hosts. We have Jackson, who has never won a spelling bee. We have myself, who has never participated in a spelling bee. We have Charlie, who probably doesn't know what a spelling bee is. And we have Kaya, who can't properly spell the phrase spelling bee. Oh, that's and, and racist. And today we're going to... <laughs> is it? Or, no. or do I just hate you in particular? Well, depends on what you hate me for. Exactly. It's, so it's, I hate your inability to spell. I don't know if it's because I'm racist or not. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, no, you said that before, but we were in your car and you said, look at your fucking skin color, dude. You're not white. <laughs> this, is, this is a strong start. This is not guys. even this hyperbole. Remember, remember when we were in your car and you uh, you were comparing my thigh to yours, acting like the one degree of difference somehow made me not white? Hey, I mean, I was just pointing out how compared to me, you're just way darker because I'm, I'm pale as shit. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you just grabbed Kai in your car and started belittling him and then, straight from the airport. And, and I mean, I just I, I think my argument about how it made you less of a person was really well put together. I don't see the problem. I, I guess I must have misunderstood the burning cross in your backseat. But OK. Yeah. Yeah. You, remember when you were getting in the car, I said, just move the robes over to the side. Dude, I mean, okay, again, not hyperbole. Every time we got into your car, Charlie told me to sit in the back. That can't be a coincidence. <laughs> that's that's Wait, just was a, that an actual thing. No, it's a blatant lie. I never got in the car with Andrew and Kaya. I usually had to do the driving. No, you Charlie, did? you always wanted Andrew's passenger side seat because he leans back and it, it's comfy. So you would always say you sit in the back, Kaya. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't I said, no, I, I said in the I front, the I started a civil rights movement. <laughs> How do you not remember this? We, we would argue about who gets to sit in the front. I don't I just remember doing a lot of the driving, and then I had to you, take Tiana car sometimes. That just you being did a Floridian. the driving. We borrowed your parents' SUV so we could yeah. all go in one car to Orlando, but that was only one day. Hmm. I guess I just yeah. don't remember. Because I remember when we picked him up from the airport, I drove Jackson and Kira back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think we kind of split on driving, honestly. Yeah, I think Andrew drove the most, though, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. You're fucking now, Floridians. Jesus Christ, you have to... Americans, rather. You drive so much. Ah, don't get me started again. It's like the one thing that keeps me from actually moving there, maybe. I still will, I think. I mean, our public uh, transportation is fucking ass and everything's far away. <laughs> I don't think everything's far away. It's just further away than things that Kaya is used to. That's like, true. Relatively yeah. speaking, I think things are close. Mm -hmm. Not, well, yeah, yeah relatively. relatively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I meant I meant comparatively. Not, Meanwhile, yeah. Kaya can crack open a beer and toss it to the liquor store down the road if you wanted to. <laughs> I literally could. I mean, yeah. that's a fun See, part. He, I can just walk down the stairs here, uh, walk 30 seconds, and I'm in the grocery store. I exactly. like that. We don't I, have that here. Did we ever? Uh, uh, did so we ever? Spread out. Did we ever talk about the culture shock that Charlie and I were surprised was a culture shock for you about waiting to be seated at restaurants? Did well, we ever yeah, talk we about talked that on the show. We talked about we that when they were here in person. Casino Royale. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Casino Royale yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring right. that one Catch up later on again. Lore. By the way. Uh, okay. How about this? Let's switch a topic to something more fun. Charlie, I think you're gonna love this one. I think you're gonna mm -hmm. get some Schadenfreude out of this. Your best pal, OP. Just got fired oh. from his podcasting gig with Westwood One. For those of you who don't that know, Westwood One is one of the biggest labels for podcasting and broadcasting. They get some like 300 million listeners a week that they work with NBC, MSNBC, the NFL, whatever. Ben Shapiro is on there, I think. So they canceled their contract with OP, Charlie. So OP is now what walking. What did he do? Huh? What did he do? He sucked and didn't get views. <laughs> oh, okay. So there was, there, was, there was not an actual, like, yeah. an act that he did, like, spying on people in the bathrooms again or anything like that. It was just, he sucks. Oh, he's an obnoxious yeah, asshole, which is why right. Charlie hates yeah. him. I mean, he used to drive around in cars insulting hobos or something, and he's just a, a general nuisance. He hangs around his in his friend's restaurant, literally peeling the paint off the walls, being racist to the painter. There's, like, a painter was in the restaurant and Opie looks at him and says, hey, can we tell that Mexican to quiet down a little? 
And the guy says, dude, I'm Australian. And then Opie again says, how do you say quiet <laughs> down in Mexican? Amazing shit. What a dick. Wow. So, but I wanted to play that this sounds clip. like Opie. Charlie, you, yeah. you're going to love this. So this man's narcissism doesn't even allow him to admit that he got fired. Listen to this. <laughs> it's been a lot of speculation and rumors on the old internet. And I'm here to tell you that, yes, it's true that I'm no longer with Westwood One. Uh, we, uh, we decided to go our own ways. That's right. We have decided to go our own ways. <laughs> there was a partnership that started a year ago, and it's now, uh, it's now over. For now. For now. I did not get fired, and I did not quit. There is no in-between, OP. I did not get yeah, fired. What? I did not what quit. Then? It's one or the other, exactly. <laughs> Wait, why did he say for now? Like he's desperately trying to get back in bed with them. I don't. Well, why did he leave? Would, if, I'd if want to be. In bed he's probably, with he's them too. probably desperate. I mean, listen yeah. to the way he says about it. We decided to split our own ways. Us, me, and them together agree. He probably is trying to like leave the gate open if maybe they want to bring him back. Yeah, he wants to be nice. So, but you know, when people call it a partnership, like I'm in a partnership with Westwood One, that's a euphemism. You're their employee. And the way it works is they give you money and resources. They pay you money. And in, in, in exchange, you plug their advertisers. And if they don't get enough clicks, they cut off your money. That's the definition of getting fired. Okay. Even Charlie's dogs are worked up about OP's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> they can smell the racism. So OP goes on to, you know, kind of fake thanking everybody, but listen to this. So he's walking on the beach and you can hear the waves. I guess back in the editing booth, he got so, he must have thought like that he made himself look soft thanking people. So he smashed cuts to himself, repeating that he did not get fired. Listen. <laughs> and I just want to thank everybody there for all their help and teaching me how to do this damn podcast uh, thing and wish him nothing but the best. Remember, I didn't quit. <laughs> I didn't get fired. <laughs> it's a partnership that served both parties well, and it's just time to move on. So there you have it. There's the update. Let everyone keep babbling. But I just told you the ex absolute truth of uh, what's going on. <laughs> uh, he he absolutely sounds like was the truth. fired. He was absolutely fired. A, a normal human being that ended some business partnership would. I like, don't know, Andrew. I, I, I mean, like Did you it's hear suspicious. That smash cut? Yeah, yeah, it's suspicious. Like a normal person would lead with it, maybe say it once, but you know, maybe maybe there's reason to doubt when he says it eight, nine times. <laughs> Ten. When an honest person needs to, to keep reaffirming it. <laughs> yeah, I love how the, the more times you say it, the more honest yelling it. Is. Oh my god, what a lol cow! <laughs> I just got fucked. <laughs> Charlie, I, act, I asked an expert, Carl, from Who Are These Podcasts, who's obsessed with OP, making fun of him, if we would have any chance to uh, have our voicemails played on OP's show. He said there's, there's no shot. No way. Mm. Does he have a show anymore? Is he still continuing it on his so own? So his show is him walking around with a handheld recorder, which costs mm -hmm. like 150 bucks. Remember, this guy used to be big. He's a millionaire. He used to make like oh multi millions yeah, of easily. millions of dollars in a single mm -hmm. year. Yeah, Opie and Anthony yeah, used Opie to be and a yeah. gigantic show. Oh, so he still they wins were then. they were he's like one of the they were like one of the he's besides Howard than us. Stern one of the first like really huge known radio shows. Yeah, just all over the world. Not anymore, Jackson. I can I can guarantee you that we get more listeners than he does easily. Jesus. Yeah, but he's a millionaire. Oh yeah, well yeah, so yeah. are we. Yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, no, no uh, we're yeah, not. Go to, no, we're not. Go to our Patreon and make us millionaires. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know which one's cooler to be millionaires or <laughs> beg starving artists. We're not yeah. begging. We're putting out content. All right. Um, <laughs> as true. opposed to you know OP. what needs to happen. Hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kai. I, I forgot what I was gonna say, but the, <laughs> okay, please go ahead. <laughs> I was, I was just gonna say because I was thinking about this yesterday. I put it in group chat. And it, it, I, what I would really love to see, I would love to see by this point, is like a, a meeting of the minds. I want to see the Opie and Maddox show. Oh, oh God. They could, I would love they, to see that. See, just two if, fallen titans just being self-dick suckers. Call it the has Doesn't Maddox hate racists? Does what? Does Maddox, uh, Maddox hate racists? Yeah, Maddox hate racists, doesn't he? Like, he's a super yeah, SJW. I think he it doesn't racist. matter. Yeah, it doesn't oh, he matter. Is racist? Well, I don't want to put that out there, but I think 
I don't know, somebody had leaked DMs where he made like racist comments about Dick, Dick Masterson, our buddy from the Dick Show, uh, about how Dick's not even a real Mexican. Look at him, look at his skin tone. He's as Mexican Jesus. as... Really? As ta- He's as Mexican as Taco Bell, which is Mexican. Mm. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. I mean, Dick isn't Mexican, it, it, genetic, and not Mexican, but like Latino. So... I don't know. I, I don't think Maddox is very anti-racist. Would he get, go along with OP? I don't know. They're both douchebags. I think two big egos on one podcast would be amazing, though. I would love to see their show. Just like it would be a pissing contest of who could be a bigger asshole, who could be a bigger egotist. I'd love to hear it. It would just it would just be OP trying to convince Maddox that he wasn't fired. You, you know what it would <laughs> be? be the whole premise of the show. It would be a solid hour and a half of silence after introductions because Maddox and OP would keep editing the show to make themselves look better, to get a null state. Nothing, just no show. <laughs> The only way to win is not to talk. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlie, you would, you would love Maddox's new show. It's all about Godzilla. Oh, God. That yeah. sounds about par for the course. <laughs> also, Jackson, Jackson hated the movie, too. He shared the same complaints. Jackson, tell him you hated the huh? new Godzilla. Uh, didn't everyone? Are people still no, checking on you for that? I got Yeah, I got fucking annihilated by the limp dick Godzilla subreddit and like a bunch of I big fans. I was super excited for that movie too. It was even more disappointing because all the trailers made it look like this cinematic exactly. masterpiece. I said that on screen. But the yeah. final fucking movie was just flashing lights constantly. I had like a seizure six times during <laughs> that movie. I couldn't tell what was happening. The combat between the monsters, the kaiju, was just incomprehensible most of the time. And... The the storyline with the main like the characters the actual human characters was just so fucking boring. <gasps> you yes. just talked about humans. It. You're not allowed to talk about humans in a movie that's ninety percent. Well, don't put humans in the movie if you don't want me to talk exactly. about it. It's ninety percent of the fucking movie. And that that's the main complaint. L- listen to this guy mention the humans in a Godzilla movie as the Godzilla and crew share thirty minutes of a two hour movie together. All right, it's mainly so, fucking humans. Yeah. You yeah. guys gave me a perfect segue. Thank you. Have you guys seen the internet? I guess YouTube and Reddit's going after this little kid. I think I know of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, talking yeah, yeah, shit yeah, about Keanu no, Reeves on. It was one of those blank oh, react yeah, yeah. videos. Kids react. And I guess the kid said that Keanu Reeves was an epic. I don't know why I'm saying I guess. I, I literally it listened was, to it. It was from that, the, uh, it was from react. And it was like they react to different memes. And it was that thing where yes. it was like, Put put end at different words, and eventually it made legend and put a picture of Keanu Reeves, and the kid was like, he doesn't look like much of a legend to me. You know, he looks like a, a kind of a loser, like, you know, oh, just, you don't have being to. a literal child, you know, being a literal yes, fucking child. that's a fucked up part. So I watched the video. It's a bunch of little adorable kids. They're, I, I don't know. I don't know how old kids are, are how they look. They, I, I guess they're like anywhere between five and 12. I don't know. But they can barely talk. Half of them don't even have teeth yet, right? These are little children. And I guess this is a hot take at this point on the internet, but if you're doxing and bullying a kid because he called your movie dumb, ah, Jesus, what the fuck are you doing with your time? So I have a clip of this. Uh, So this is him, first of all, insulting Minecraft. People got pissed off at this. Minecraft's, like, really dead. So I don't even know why this is funny. Ah, that monster. The little monster, yeah. that gremlin. We've Fuck now been demonetized. No matter what he says, though, no matter what he says, though, he's a kid. Who fucking yeah. cares? Yeah. Well, the internet Why cares, you... Jackson. They're losing their fucking minds over it because they're I man children themselves. It's not about him being a kid and not uh, and making those comments. Is why would you care? Period. If somebody made those comments about something you like, <laughs> but the kid yeah. part is especially egregious when you go to his Instagram page or whatever and you send him mean comments to a fucking 10 year old here's him making the Keanu comment saying uh sorry wait where is he two okay here he really doesn't look like a legend he looks like a weird dude adjusting his glasses trying to look cool with a robotic arm but he's ultimately failing it yeah that's that's kind of rough burn burn him at the fucking stake crucify him He's, that was mean to Keanu. I feel bad. Keanu, that, you didn't deserve that. <laughs> yeah, let, let's kill him together, Keanu. This yeah, is, we can take him down. So what I don't get, though, I don't know if you guys watched the whole video, but I don't know why this kid specifically was singled out because all the other kids agreed with him. All of them. Here's two of them. Here's two little girls. Uh, they're even more fervent about him, uh, Keanu, not being a legend. Listen to this. Yeah, he's a legend. Oh, no. He's not a legend. 
You call this a legend? Look at the attitude. <laughs> How is that not adorable? You call that a legend? <laughs> How do you get mad at this? Come on, the fucking video has like 28,000 dislikes. They're children. They're children. Well, this, this, is what happens. this is what happens when memes reach critical mass appeal. Yeah. I, I can guarantee you most of the people sending those death threats don't even give a shit about Keanu Reeves. Oh, you know they're what? They're just bandwagoning. You know what it know. also is? A bunch of them not only don't give a shit, some of them think they're being funny. Like they're do they're doing the whole like edgy haha joke reaction of how dare you not talk so great about Keanu you should fucking kill yourself but then they remember that on the internet you can't really convey sarcasm and you're sending death threats to a child who's probably not gonna get it <laughs> yeah so you're just a fucking moron with no sense of taste or class well, that's when you send and a smiley face or edit your yeah put a wink at the end that'll make it okay <laughs> <laughs> oh god I hate Heard that what you said, when big people. Guy. <laughs> Denominate their sarcasm like on Reddit. You always see this where they do the forward slash s. Like I just use sarcasm yeah. in case anybody is offended. I I always get offended by that tag. Like you had to point out you're being sarcastic. That's it's almost patronizing. offensive. Yeah, it's so patronizing. Mm -hmm. But I guess you need it. Here is a. I love this little girl's attitude. This is teach your kids to be like this. This is adorable. Did he die or something? Then why is he a legend? You can only call someone a legend if they died and they're the greatest person. Like me. I'm a legend when I die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so She's got a good outlook on life, I guess. Really? Dude, that's adorable. Like, I'm gonna be a legend when I die. Fucking good for you. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's cute. I wish I had that outlook. How do you watch this shit without just smiling? How do you get... I, listen! You guys know, I love Keanu Reeves. I fucking love Keanu Reeves, but I, I had nothing but a smile on my face. I don't know how people leave well, comments I can get, like this. Like I said, I can guarantee you, if you actually like Keanu Reeves and his personality, you're not going to be the one sending <laughs> death threats to a I kid. Mean, let's take an even That's more... like the opposite of what Keanu wants. What the you hell? don't know well, that. Maybe a... Keanu was one of them. <laughs> like he sent it from his <laughs> official account. <laughs> let's, let's take an even bigger step back and be a fucking adult about it. Who fucking cares what a seven-year-old has to say? What the fuck does it matter? Or a 17-year-old. Uh, they can barely talk. Half of them had Who to have the word legend spelled to them. I, d I don't know, man. I, I, just why, why? See, this is why I don't scroll down for comments anymore. I, the only time I ever scroll down for comments, either on Reddit or YouTube, is to get time codes for things that I'm specifically looking for. I'm, I'm sure you guys know this. Or I want to know mm -hmm. something identified in the video that I saw, like a pair of yes. speakers, and maybe yes. somebody in the comments knows what, what brand it is. But I never, I anymore never s scroll down to get opinions. Are you not so that that's like looking for food in a sewage? It doesn't work. I just scroll down for information and I guess this is this is what fucking happens if, if you put a little kid on the internet. Jesus Kaya, Christ. Kaya, would you uh Kaya, would you like to know one of the hardest struggles of being a modern man on the digital internet age I deal with every <laughs> single day? Okay, again, every every single single day, I'm not a troggle. I, I use the internet. Every, <laughs> I am a modern man. <laughs> well, one day you'll, that that one day, one day you'll catch Andrew. up. Yeah, one day you'll catch up and learn this. But I'll be, I'll be sitting on my tiny little computer and I'll watch that YouTube video or I'll check out that Reddit post and I'll go, you know, this looks interesting, but what's the story behind it? What, what happened afterwards? Like a, like a, I don't know, a 10 second clip. I go, well, are they dead? Like what, what was the outcome of this? One of the best moments of my life is scrolling down through those comments. And the first comment is quote from the video. Second comment is quote from the video. Third comment is vaguely related meme. Fourth comment is someone saying, man, if I was there, I, I would have done this. And everyone's like, me too. <laughs> wow, me too. Wow, me too. And then maybe, maybe after literally 10 solid minutes, someone goes, oh, by the way, I found an article about it. Here's what happened. It's you know, if you actually want to learn something. That's the online no. version of when you tell your friend a story about how you got pissed off at somebody and they go, they always have to pretend to be a badass and go, yeah, dude, I would have kicked his ass. No, you wouldn't have. <laughs> Calm down. No, of course not. You would have backed down just, just like everybody else. Relax. You, <laughs> you know what would be fucking hilarious is if we put his home phone number up here as our new voicemail. But only tell what, people the, to the call him with the kid who got doxxed. <laughs> only call in with supportive messages and be kind. Oh yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna, it's gonna be that's other kids telling idea. him to bathe in milk again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that. Kaya, I think you've set up the most creepy sex hotline the world has ever known. Oh yeah. Yeah, like we're like the middlemen for getting twelve-year-old kids to talk to each other <laughs> through our voicemail. <laughs>
It's like, yeah, me no like Keanu either. Waka ga goo goo. You, you complain about me being racist. What? <laughs> racist to kids? <laughs> what? Racist what? to babies? <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing a Chinese guy. Wait, Maybe you're I am racist. racist. Yeah, yeah, I am yeah, a racist. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the Chinese sound like babies, Andrew? Okay. Jesus, Andrew. <laughs> you jump straight to Asians. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the context of this conversation, I know. it's impressive. Uh, I know. That was the joke. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's awesome. Let's ask Keanu. Uh, Keanu, do you think Andrew's racist? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, there you oh. go. Wow. He was on the show. <laughs> Charlie even jumped in there. Yeah. <laughs> the channeled way. Keanu. <laughs> yeah, um, that was me. To wrap it all up, I just want to play this last clip. This is from Kevin Hart, you know, the guy who got booted off the Oscars because he called someone gay like 10 years ago on a tweet. Mm -hmm. Remember that guy? I, mm -hmm. I thought him and Joe Rogan made a good point on their podcast uh, about leaving mean comments. So this is that. I don't know if it's a cool thing. I think it's usually people that are really frustrated with their lives. 100%. I mean, uh, like, that's, the, that's the factual side to it. I, I did a joke before. I was like, do you think Michael Jordan leaves YouTube comments? Look, I bet he doesn't. No. <laughs> no. No. That's not for winners. No. The, the, not the, at all. The type of people that want to get mad and complain constantly about shit like that. Do you know what it takes to do this right here? I'm going to tell you how I feel right in your comment section, Joe Rogan. You can kiss my... You know what that takes? You, what do you have going on that you have the time? It's just a mismanagement of your time. Time. Yeah. Stop bullying kids, fellas. Do something productive. I mean, I'm not like me. I've never bullied a child. Well, I'm about I mean, to bully. I, I've made this. fun of their race before, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, do you want to do you want to like end that with a little sarcasm note? Andrew, oh yeah, uh, uh, slash s. But by the way, <laughs> uh, in case in case any of you out there didn't know, I'm not actually a racist. I know, surprising, <laughs> shocking. That's just what I'm a racist would say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, slash um, s slash s. I don't know. Winky emoticon. Whatever you need. Okay, should we do the ad or should I segue into the next article? <laughs> Probably ad. should no, well, the, probably shouldn't follow the ad on the back of like sarcastic racism. They might not like it. Okay, fair enough. So to follow up, how you shouldn't bully people for not liking a movie you like. Uh, I'm about to bully this dipshit who wrote an article about John Wick, but he's an adult. You know, you know fair game. I just thought mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. was fucking hilarious. I I think this is I, uh, a great example of why you should never take a critic's word on Rotten Tomatoes or the uh, the score the critics give give a movie. The title is John Wick, Chapter 2, is a shameful example of Hollywood gun pornography. Here's the article. Mm. The sequel what's, to the what's the name of the reviewer before you get into it? See, I don't want to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, no, the, Andrew's on Instagram. I mean, if they're, well, if they're, if they're, if they're uh, look, 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 look. There's, I know that there's that whole thing of like, you don't want to target people and out people and all that stuff. But if they're a high profile reviewer for, uh, you know, an important review place, the, people could literally Google the first sentence of this review and find it instantly. There's no reason not to say it. That's true, but... You know, that's still an extra step of effort that yeah, if, keeps if they people do, from... If they want to send off the hate mail... If they want to send off the hate mail, the least they could do is just search this up on their own. We don't need to give them all the information that they need yeah. to get there. Like I try to put some degrees of separation into there because, I, like, for example, I could have read the kid's uh, response to the hate he was getting, but I knew immediately that people could Google the first sentence of his reply and find his Instagram. I don't want that. Yeah, that's fair. On but, the upside, while you were talking, I Googled the first sentence and found the <laughs> review so I can read along with you. Okay, well, I, I mean, to be, okay, to be fair, his name is, uh, he's an adult, his name is Jordan Hoffman, so whatever. Um, let's see. Oh, shit, that's the kid's name, actually. No. <laughs> no, no, no. That would, that would be an amazing, <laughs> that would be an amazing coincidence. So, the, this fucking amazing article, he says, The sequel to the Keanu Reeves sleeper hit might be efficiently slick, but its obsession with weaponry leaves a nasty taste in the mouth. Just for you. What are you talking about? What nasty taste? What you think? A colleague asked as we spilled onto the sidewalk outside a Manhattan screening room. I think I need to aspirin, I said, clutching my throbbing head. Uh, 
Do you need a tampon too? Well, to be fair, that's how I felt after Godzilla. So mm-hmm. I can kind of mm-hmm. understand. Yeah, but you weren't offended by the violence. You were offended by <laughs> it being boring. I was offended that's by the opposite. something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, see, oh my god, listen to this fucking douchey tone. This isn't sarcasm, by the way, there's no slash S at the end of this paragraph. The critical reaction to John Wick Chapter 2 has been quite positive, and I can understand why. Audiences get to pick and choose, but we critics, the brave soldiers of cinema's trenches hurling ourselves atop grenades to save you from a bad movie, <laughs> suffer through more junk than you could possibly imagine, especially in the early months of the year. The brave soldiers of cinema trenches hurling ourselves atop grenades to save you from a bad movie. They're actual heroes, Kaya. They, they are. Purple heart for Literal this man. Heroes. Jordan Jordan Hoffman, you get a purple heart. I told you they have a victim complex. Um, unbelievable. Next paragraph. But eventually we'll need to ask. Oh yeah, this goes on about how he... You know, movies like this desensitize us to violence and yada yada. But eventually we'll need to ask, where does it, where does this end? Just because we can rattle our brains with bone snapping, aorta snipping, cranium splashing violence, does that mean we have to? Yes! Hallelujah! That sound, Fuck yeah! That sounds pretty cool. That sounds yeah. pretty fucking cool. When I read that paragraph, I was about to open a new tab and go see John Wick 3 again. That sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. If I was John Wick's producer or whatever the fuck, I would take that sentence and use it for promotion, and I would quote this douchebag and make it look like he gave you a positive <laughs> review. Fucking idiot. So it, it sounds like this man has no concept of logic because he goes, I went to an action movie and I was offended by the action. Like, good, very it, good it point. It seems like he doesn't he doesn't understand that there are movies of other genres out there. He's like, he didn't, what, how could he? He's a film critic. Why, why does it, every single movie ever made have to have violence and be R rated? I don't get it. Every single one of them. Why can't I like choose what kind of movie I want to watch? I'm so sick of it. Because he's a film critic. He's exactly. going to see everything. Oh, he's a fu- hero. Then get a new Andrew. job, you fucking loser. He can't. He has an art degree in college. It's <laughs> all I can do. <laughs> fucking worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his art degree comes into real work here with this with this paragraph at what point does this hyperactive blood-soaked corpse-strewn video game aesthetic cease being harmless <laughs> entertainment and become psychologically invasive i don't even know what that's supposed to mean psychologically invasive what what it means he, he kept up after the movie he thought about it did, i guess i don't know <laughs> oh okay again though this is this it is a good like he might, have, he might have ptsd fucking pussy Again, this is a good ad, though. Hyperactive, blood-soaked, corpse-strewn video game aesthetic. Yes, please. One ticket. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> this sounds pretty awesome to me. Um, uh, again, John Wick Chapter 2 is a string of elaborate bullet ballets with only trace elements of a plot is a hardcore gun pornography, pure and simple. And when the imagery faded, along with the hoots and hollers of the audience, I felt sunk in a crater of guilt. Choking on a miasma of shame. <laughs> did he like come in his Wait, pants or something? Yeah, yeah, while he was watching the movie, did he actually start sucking off the guy next to him? Like, what's <laughs> what is he talking you know, about? What's he so shameful for? Like, what the fuck? He just watched the movie. Uh, <laughs> for, I mean, again, this this whole article reads like somebody planted an agent in this review. This is from the Guardian, by the way. The Guardian. Mm-hmm. It, it sounds like the producers of John Wick paid this guy to, my, to inadvertently make me want to watch it again. Um, a lustily shot sequence teases out one weapon after another, and to one who has never held a firearm and has no intention of doing so, each make and model just sounds like chrome noise, until our hero was handed an enormous rifle with the, in the AR family. Ah, uh, that one I've heard of. And he goes on this long rant about... How the AR was used in school shootings, uh, as if that has anything to do with the fucking movie. Oh god, I hate. Yeah, it has everything like this. to do with the movie. It's yeah, did you see the scene where John Wick barged into a school and started shooting it up? <laughs> 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 it's see, the only way to get rid of the coin. This is this is the part that triggered me. That the shit that I hate is uh, to one who has never held a firearm and has no intention of doing so. So people who've never seen held let alone shot a gun, lecturing us about guns, trying to suck the fun out of a fucking movie telling us that they're bad. Have you even met a single person who's pro-gun, let alone owns one, or has shot one, has touched one, has seen one, has hurt one? What are... uh... 
Kaya, he's got a great point, though. That's why I hate Mario games, because I've never been on a giant board game playing with big dice and all my friends. So I just I can't have fun with it because I've never experienced it. I've never had it's a magic just, talking hat, so I can't play it. You know what it's I mean? Good. It's he's got a point. Guns bad. Guns kill people. Gun bad. Uh, OK, you fucking child. Um, last few paragraphs here. So, it's supposed to be funny when Keanu Reeves' is John Wick and his nemesis, played by Common, have to temporarily call a truce when their brutal brawl crashes into the lobby of the Continental. But I don't know, that little dose of intentional comedy wasn't enough to wash the bloody taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Guy's just a fucking Debbie Downer. It sounds like him and all his friends were gonna have a fun day at the movies, and he just didn't want to watch it. So he's just finding reasons to be an asshole about it. He was there alone. You just know it. That's true. Oh, Maybe with his critic yeah. friend. Yeah. Uh, oh no, he was not. Well, yeah, but he, yeah, no, they went together. But it was like a work function. His employee friend didn't want to be there. It's yeah, like, I have to. We have to talk about this movie. Ugh. Uh, um. Okay, last sentence here. I don't think it's overly prudish to wander just where the line of decency is as audience bloodlust continues to get chummed. Yeah, it is. Okay, the, you are overly prudish, dude. You little semi-Amish bitch. This is this article is like the the woke version of a of a Christian soccer mom with sand in her vagina writing letters to the studio. I, I don't know, explaining that Jesus wouldn't approve. Like I was. A, this violence, this is not okay. You know how many people get hurt by fucking frames on a screen? Oh my god. So that would... That, 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 fuck these people. John Wick is awesome. Yeah. Go see John Wick. I feel like the, the only thing you have to do to get on Kaya's bad side is not like John Wick. I know. I, I dox children. I hurt yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Don't don't seek this guy out and don't don't be a dick to him. He's he's he has enough of a sad, pathetic little existence <laughs> as it is. Clearly, <laughs> he doesn't need your mean comments. He's a uh, fucking hero. Give him words of encouragement if you find yeah. him. If anything, donate to him. Try to get him promoted. He's in the trenches. Fighting the good <laughs> fight. <laughs> Throwing himself on, on the, the grenade. Road. Get him a purple heart. Oh, my God. Mm. And you get yourself a better VPN. Oh, yes. That's right, with ExpressVPN, which how, how, I'm just going to shut up and let Kaya talk about it. Okay, ExpressVPN, buddies. I was going to use this after a segue for the next topic, but this is good enough. I can segue from this into Twitch. ExpressVPN, it's like a condom for the internet, okay? You think nobody's going to steal my personal <laughs> identity. You're wrong. People are going to snoop your, uh, you, you know, your password. You're going to get an email from somebody saying, hey, this is your password and now sent me $10,000 in Bitcoin to this address. You don't want that, okay? You don't want websites knowing your uh, IP and what you browse. Here's a fun test for you. This is a URL. I don't know if we're supposed to, uh, if this is okay for us to do during an ad, but I feel like it emphasizes the point. If you think your privacy isn't being raped online, go to history.google.com and see how Google stores your the voice recordings of you talking to your fucking Google Assistant and Alexa or whatever. And they even store how many minutes you spend in what app. So if you download a Tinder, Grindr, whatever the fuck, Google knows how many minutes you spend in those apps. All of that shit. Google knows the IP. Google knows the voice pro your voice profile. Google can tell your voice from your grandma's voice and all that kind of shit, okay? Your privacy matters. So go to expressvpn.com slash official. Get this thing. At least hide your IP. Okay, hide your location, hide your IP. Uh, for less than $7 a month, you can get the same ExpressVPN uh, thing, the, the membership that I have. I, I, I don't know, I, I pay like seven, nine bucks for it. I, I don't fucking know. But with our uh, code, you can get three months free of the yearly plan, which I actually used. So you can go to expressvpn.com slash official, give it a shot, stay anonymous on the internet. I'm, I, I don't know. I, I'm having a difficult time trying to be succinct with this ad because I could literally ramble on for 10 minutes about this product. And I might well, that's again. That's good though, passionate. Yeah. I am passionate. This is, a, this is a sponsor I am very passionate about. Which brings me to the next topic. Twitch. Mm. Have you guys heard about this? Twitch is now suing the trolls who streamed gore and porn <laughs> yeah. on Artifact. Yeah. Wait, they're actually suing them? Oh mm -hmm. yeah. 
Is Andrew here? I, I want him to hear yeah, us. Yeah, no, too, I'm, I I'm, the, okay. I'm here. I'm listening. Uh, all right, sorry. Uh, so this is from Bloomberg and Polygon. So Twitch Interactive Incorporated, the live streaming platform owned by Amazon.com Incorporated, sued anonymous trolls who flooded the site last month with pornography, violent content, <laughs> and copyrighted movies and television shows. The company said that it, if it learns the identities of the anonymous streamers who have abused its terms of service named in the lawsuit as John and Jane Doe's 1 through 100, it will ask the court to prohibit them from using the platform and order them to pay restitution and damages. What damages? What, what happened to you? What, what are they Did talking they about stock here? stock full or anything I like mean, that? I mean, the only le real damage I could think of is if Twitch itself was getting action on them from like the movie studios and shit, but I highly doubt that happened. Yeah. I, I doubt it too. I imagine that's probably probably just like a safety precaution, like restitution on what could have happened. Yeah. Like playing in game, uh, Marvel Studios could have been like, "Well, we expect compensation." So, yeah, you know, yeah like, but all of these big platforms, they always have a clause that says we are not responsible for what our users put up. Right. That's well, isn't what that what Article Thirteen yeah, that's, changed? Now that's, they are responsible. That's well, your, that's also not exactly what that clause means. They have restrictions on what they can put up, but what they're saying is, "Hey, man, like if someone sneaks porn in there or something, and we don't catch it right away, there's nothing we can do." You know what I mean? Yeah, basic. I, I just don't. So they have that. a responsibility, but there's leeway there. They have because they can't be active constantly. They have responsibility, thing. but not liability, is what they're saying. Like if you're if you're a little kid and you go on Twitch and like all of a sudden someone's streaming like hardcore gangbang porn and or like <laughs> hardcore violence or something, they're not. You're not going to be able to have your mom go. Well, it's their fault that this happened to them because they had no control <laughs> over that. Somebody. That's in basically our, uh, what it is. Someone in our live chat just said the damages of having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want that. My Should child had too, he had too much fun watching Endgame on stream. You need to calm him down. This is you too much more fun. You hide yourself. This is too much Which more fun coming. than Artifact. <laughs> oh, Should that's, be that's an interesting question. I mean, the Artifact was getting, what, 200 views before this thing happened? No, like not two views. Yeah, yeah, not even. <laughs> Artifact is now down to 13 viewers yeah. as of now, and it's still, it is still not Artifact. They are both just rebroadcasts of other yeah. streams. Uh, Do you think this whole operation was funded uh, and, like, uh, conducted by Valve just to get Artifact back in the limelight? This was, like, their re-entry strategy? Get it in the news. Game news out there, like, actually pirating movies to put on Twitch. <laughs> He'll release a Half-Life 3 trailer on the artifact section. I would if oh, I was him. That'd yeah. be cool. That would be fucking brilliant. It would be. Um I, I've often I've often thought about that. Like maybe that would be the best way of uh like teasing or announcing something of the caliber of like Half-Life 3, like a massive fan uh you know loved project that they really want just like put the put the trailer out there under like a small account so that when people see it or whatever they can call it fake or whatever but but gabe knows it's real i've always i've <laughs> thought about cool. something similar to that too where you uh say you're working on a big project like that and all you do is just anonymously just drop it somewhere and see if yeah. through natural virality it'll just spread without anyone promoting it like yeah, but then like half the people would be calling it fake because it's coming from exactly. some anonymous account or whatever. Yeah, but then, like, I think that'd be really That imagine person, the like, owner, uh, could come out later and say, no, this is actually real. But but imagine imagine if like Gabe Newell just made a random Google account just out of nowhere and just uploaded the entirety mm -hmm. of Half-Life 3 on it. And I don't know, put the link to it on a fucking Reddit thread or something in the comments. And it's <laughs> a just comment, yeah. exactly. And the idea is could because it's Half-Life 3, it just naturally go completely viral or would, you know, barely anyone notice. But like 10 people play it and that's it. Yeah, and that's <laughs> just, it. That's, that's the oh, audience that, you know, for Half-Life I've thought about three. that a lot, Jackson. <laughs> it just dies on some forum. I think that'd be so Jackson, cool. This the, is like a little experiment. The, get, I guess like we'll get your channel banned now too. I was going to say put the Game of Moans trailer, trailer on the Artifact tab, but I guess you can't. <laughs> that's a good idea, actually. It's just running constantly. It's going to yeah, auto-ban well, his we'll channel have our because... Own Twitch, we'll have our own Twitch uh, category soon enough. You know what you should do, Jackson? I was thinking about this. I, I know that your game is literally a porn game, and it might defeat the purpose, but 
maybe do a version where like all the sex scenes, it just cuts to black so people could stream it. Oh, we were we were definitely planning on doing censored versions oh. so that people could play it even without having to. It's a good look idea. Look at our beautiful naked art. Because I'll, I'll be honest, I want to stream it and find a way to fuck myself in it. I think that exactly. Be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. That'd be great. Actual Andrew actual recommendation. <laughs> An actual tip, make make it like an option to where the streamer could hit a button and so maybe it only streams the censored version while they can see the real one. Um, hang on, let's <laughs> see. Oh yeah, so tying into this, Twitch said that Twitch's success is due to in part to the measures it has taken to create a safe and accessible community for its millions of users. Dude, nobody was watching Artifact before this. Why aren't you happy? What are you talking about the success? This is the success. People streaming Avengers on your artifact stream. You have, what, two people now? Awesome. Uh, yeah, was, well. Oh, yeah, I was going to tie this into the ExpressVPN thing. Um, while it appears that Twitch does not know exactly who is responsible for the attack, the company says it will <laughs> amend its lawsuit with the identified parties if and when the legal names of the such persons or ent entities become known. This is why you How need a VPN. Gonna... This is why you How are need they to stay anonymous. Track them down, though. Do they reasonably have a way of finding out who did it? Oh, oh I know? guarantee a lot of yeah. them were just teenagers rebroadcasting the movie and shit that they found on a torrent site. Yeah, I'm sure they could if they really wanted to. Andrew, can you sue kids for that? Oh, yeah, they're fuck of age. Yeah, you can. Andrew, yeah. Yeah. Kai has been sued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? No, you're being ageist. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just saying you've been sued. I wasn't necessarily saying because you're a child or something. I was just saying, you know. Yeah, but I said can teenagers and, and kids be sued for yeah. this? Yeah, uh, fair, fair. Also, it's only allegations. Yeah, I yeah. did. Um, reminder, I also only got sued because I wasn't using expressvpn.com slash official. Uh, <laughs> fuck, what was and I And it wasn't even say? him that did it. It was a burglar that downloaded it illegally to frame him. Yeah, it's still right. an allegation. Um, yeah. Fuck, you raped my thing of train of thought here uh, <laughs> shit man i don't know why fuck <laughs> damn it okay <laughs> that was a monkey wrench in the wheel um <laughs> sorry to break up your legal battle <laughs> no because slipped I, out. I, fuck I, I was laying out my episode notes so i can have good uh segues Okay, I, I guess this was it. Twitch alleges in the lawsuit that the raid lasted so long because users coordinated off-site using channels like Discord and Weebly to continue broadcasting streams. Have you guys seen uh, Discord's response to it's being offline all day today? Yeah, yeah. the Wumpus fell over the power cord. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm going to uh, send you this, Charlie, because I want you to read this. Uh, oh, I'm excited. Is it new Discord lore? Uh, Well, not lore, but I'll put it in our in our private chat so we have an easier time finding it mm -hmm. i'll put it in the regular chat too here for everybody listening <laughs> i want you to read this oh jesus i didn't read the response can i, can I, can I read the uh can i read the one sentence from the person replying to discord yeah sure. you can you can play the discord enthusiast all right so i'll, I'll be the <laughs> rabid discord fanboy and you can be discord okay so we'll take it from the top scene one act one discord Sorry for the trouble, everyone. Wumpus tripped over the power cord. <laughs> we are aware of the outage and currently working on a fix. Please mm. visit status Discord app for updates. Uh, enter stage left, uh, Discord fanboy. Bad Wumpus. Does he need glasses? <clears throat> this made Wumpus laugh. He also <laughs> doesn't need glasses. He was actually practicing a wicked kickflip and caught a crack in the concrete, tripped and pulled the wire. He got it on the second attempt, though, if that's any consolation. <laughs> uh, the Wumpus was laughing that day. <laughs> didn't, didn't one of the Discord staff reply to your video that you did on it saying that they don't yeah. do this kind of shit? Yeah, they said uh, the guy's name was like Chu or something. He said that they would never respond to like an actual serious thing with their little stage play. <laughs> but they did. But they had, right? Yeah. Didn't we do this on a well, oh, yeah, they, bonus they episode or something? Times. We read the whole response. Yeah, from yeah. our support ticket, which he said they never do. So I'm guessing the, oh, yeah. the Wumpuses and the, the Schmeckeldorfels, they don't communicate in the office. <laughs> so they're still role-playing when they shouldn't oh, be. Oh, my lord. Uh, 
fuck. Just say you're offline, dude. You know? <laughs> yeah, just go, hey, sorry, guys. <laughs> We're working on it. This sucks. Instead of going, yeah, yeah Wumpus was doing sick kid flip, bro. <laughs> Imagine like you're in a professional setting and you had a Discord meeting set up. Hey, it looks like they're down. Check out this link. What does it mean? <laughs> I think, who's Re Wumpus? <laughs> read this last one too, please, Charlie. I just sent another one. <laughs> what, yeah. Is this from today? I love that a lot. We we at uh, John Hopkins Hospital here are having some difficulties. Our server is down due to a, a Wumpus, I believe. <laughs> Very sorry to our shareholders. We'll try to get this back on track. Oh, so this, okay. Uh, this is Act 2, Scene 1. We recently <laughs> buffed the heckin' GB Weebies out of iOS performance. <laughs> Update your app for faster everything. <laughs> and it's an and then it's an image of the Discord icon flexing. <laughs> with oh, with the spiked but, cuffs, by the way. You know the emo shit from when we were like 14? Yeah. <laughs> the Chris Angel gauntlets. <laughs> yeah. Oh my lord. I at least like a Discord just being like, hey guys, did you laugh? Their comment underneath is, did you at least chuckle a little bit in your soul? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a tweet unavailable underneath it, which is obviously someone like just just talking shit about it, and then they've like posted a gif saying "liar liar, plants for hire." And it's, a of, it's a picture of fucking uh, what's his name, Patrick from SpongeBob. Yeah. Oh man. my lord! Oh fuck! What a company, uh, man! Thank you. Discord. It makes me feel so uncomfortable to use Discord when I see this shit because I'm imagining like. The team on the other end now just wearing like fur suits and getting each other off. I think they're actively updating the things that play as you're loading too because I'm getting some new bangers like the newest one I've been seeing a lot is bastoning the game turkey which I hadn't seen until like a month ago and now I get it every time have you uh have you seen when they updated their store in the st or their app in the mobile store when they were explaining how it loads faster what they said about it no, I must have so they it. they said uh, we've done a ton of optimization on the app, so it now loads faster than a high speed turbo throttled express fast moving supersonic speedy quick accelerated rapid race car. Oh god! <laughs> Instead of actually explaining what the fuck they did or changed, you, know, you don't any, need to know. Any, any it was actual info? <laughs> what is their governing body according to uh, what was his name? Splunkin. They're their own sovereign nation. Yeah, but no, like the governing body of the support team. Who the fuck did we have? Springle. Springle's team. What are they? Wood elves, right? <laughs> no, they're just elves. Magical forest. No. Wait. It was wood elves. Maybe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure forest he said elves? that. Yeah, the magical wood elves that do the ritual or whatever. So I'm guessing the wood elves don't communicate with the rest of the body of Discord. So there's this huge discrepancy between what kind of response you get. You're getting a whole bunch of different lore. It's a lot to keep up with, man. I hope they never run out of material for us. I hope they do this till the end of time. They are absolutely going to you know what, fully oh, they, commit to this. You know yeah. what this is, though, when you think about it? You remember back in, like, the 90s when companies were all about extreme, like, we've added a new flavor to our <laughs> product, Berry <laughs> Blazow! And it's like, that's what they're doing, but for the 2010s. And I can't wait for in 20 years when they look back and go, what the fuck were we doing? No, do you no, think, they're not going to look back. I think this is an actual passion project for them. Like they they genuinely enjoy doing this. I feel like that's sad. I think so too. Um, I, I feel like I have, <laughs> I feel like there might be a discrepancy between like the governing board of Discord and like these staff individuals who have taken on this persona. I feel like they're all stuck in an office and they're just like holding Discord hostage against <laughs> the actual owners of Discord. <laughs> What if uh, what if the what if the people who actually run Discord, like the designers and the coders, like they they've been trying to figure out how to fire this team for a long time, but they <laughs> yeah. just can't do it. <laughs> it's just nothing but like schemes, Wolf of Wall Street shit going on in the office. Ew, somebody just called it the Yif Cord in the chat. Ooh, oh, that's too perfect. Yeah. Ew. That feels no, bad. I don't. Want, I, th I, don't want I agree with Jackson. I I don't think anybody looks back at this. Uh, like the extreme marketing, Andrew, because they just figure, yeah, we pandered to the skateboarders of that generation and we made a lot of money. But I genuinely think that these people believe what they're doing, sitting there in a fursuit coding, uh, making up Wampus. <laughs> <laughs> so Wampus is the best thing they've created since Discord, if I'm being honest. I, I mean, He's a I little just clumsy, though. I just don't get who this appeals to. It's 
It's furries. just not childish enough to. It's not it. No, it's eh. not even furries. It's those lol so random people. You know, like but the, that's uh, dead. That's been holds dead. Holds up spork or whatever. That whole no, internet yeah. thing dead. was dead since like two thousand nine. The the meme is dead, but there are people out there like that that love the whole so wacky and zany behavior. Ugh. Teenagers, I, I guess. You, you see, you see it in the replies on the on the Twitter threads. Yeah, exactly. You just played one of the characters. <laughs> that's true. Does need a glasses? Well, yeah, one that's right. I, I'm I'm a I'm a strong enough of an actor that I'm able to remove myself from the role. So maybe I forgot. <laughs> yeah. he, he thought he created that person <laughs> for just a yeah. brief moment. He penetrated their soul. Wait, that's real? <laughs> Yuck! I mind melded with them. I felt what it was like to be them. <laughs> <laughs> I felt being inside a sticky, damp fursuit. <laughs> I got it now, you guys. I never oh, want to go back. back. <laughs> <laughs> smells like piss. <laughs> Come. I can, I can I feel my... You I, I, I'm all powerful now. I can feel my parents' disappointment permeate every fiber. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Keanu Reeves? Yeah. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> you heard it here first. Keanu Reeves hates you Discord. You couldn't even take an extra second to edit out Charlie saying yeah at the end of what? that clip. No, no I, I think he actually just I, said I just it. Said, I just said yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, wow. Andrew just got fooled. So, <laughs> you pranked yourself, dummy. So, you thought he was so a wait, where's softboard. the What's Charlie's voice clip in there then? What is he saying? It at isn't. The end of he that? just keeps talking to her. Jesus. <laughs> I just agreed. Oh. He's still here. Fuck. I, I got so confused. I thought the first time you played it, there was a little bit of Charlie at the end of it. And that's why no, he kept talking. No, he just he said it both times. Oh, now. that is awesome. <laughs> I love that I can then. still get away with that. Hey, you uh, tricked a, uh, a literal huge chunk of our audience with thinking Charlie <laughs> was in an episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, that, that was they, still a banger of a bonus episode. You know, I've, with, with that bonus episode and things like 2019 guy, I, I have just realized that no matter how obvious you make it that it's not real, there, there will be a large chunk of people who think it is, no matter what it is. So who cares? No, it's fun. It's great. I like it. I also like being that, that immature little kid and having fun going, you thought it was real? Oh, I got news for well, you, I buddy. Mean, I just think it's a testament to my phonetic skills and editing. Like, Charlie, could you please say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? What what purpose could that possibly serve? <laughs> exactly, that's, that's what I would phonetic. make Charlie say, see? Oh, I see. I, you were testing me, because the real Charlie would have said it. No, well... Okay, this wasn't supposed to be like a Blade Runner scene where I test if you're a replicant. <laughs> 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 no, I, I wanted you to say it so I could say, see, I can make him say that, but I realized midway through that there's no way he could say that on the first hearing. Yeah, there's no chance. Super color, fragile, XBL, Ah, uh, you fucked up. Almost. You yeah, you were close. Did I not get it? You said fragile lispic or something like that. Yeah. Through or not. Oh, well, I'll get it next you time. You were close. How about every episode we have Jackson say it and see if he can do it? Okay. Yeah, I'll get better. This is the Mary Poppins <laughs> corner. Practice. 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 I'll get a for it. <laughs> Kaya, on, on your list of topics, I don't know enough about this information, uh, this topic, so I can't lead it, but I was wondering if you had written it down. There was recently, I think it was like yesterday, some Twitter, uh, like, zoo file, like someone that yeah. fucks animals, made a giant fucking oh. uh, essay about how it's okay to fuck animals and then there were a bunch of youtubers like uh like debating fucking him animals. or making fun of him I yeah, don't, yeah they, they were convinced they yeah. immediately jumped obviously into the we don't corner. have to skip uh, you know uh, stick to this script that i have of topics so what what is it about <laughs> you you explain uh, it while i look up the thread yeah i read it while you taking it I read it while taking a shit this morning. I didn't finish all of it because it's literally like a series of 150 tweets mm. defending how he likes to fuck animals and also why he's attracted to fucking dead bodies. And he goes... Oh, there was dead bodies too? Yeah, he's a self-proclaimed zoophile and necrophile. And he's his justification for fucking corpses is wild. He says he's actually doing them a favor, honoring their memory <laughs> as beautiful in life and death. <laughs> it's He's a... Goddamn lunatic. He needs to be thrown in jail just for the tweets. It's genuinely disturbing stuff. And then he com he compares, like, dog breeding to rape. Uh, and, like, he said, I would never rape a dog. I always get consent from the dog before fucking and stuff like that. 
and how much he loves the dogs he fucks, and he's polyamorous, so he loves to fuck a bunch of dogs. Do it's you, really uh, weird. Do you still have the... Can you, you can toss it in the private chat. Do you have a link to this? Because I have not seen any of this. Are you uh, the... I actually saw June chew on head. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm looking at right it. now is the video. And Chris it's... Reagan. Chris Reagan as well okay. commented on it. This is oh, difficult okay. to scrub through the video because it snaps to the seconds. Uh, but yeah, yeah. It's a, he went on this huge meltdown about how he can't believe that it's still unacceptable to fuck animals and corpses. It's yeah, just, he made himself out to be like a massive victim and mm -hmm. how he's fighting for for the right to fuck these animals <laughs> and bodies. I didn't know there was bodies. That's fucking... Yeah. That's yeah. even more wacky Does anybody to me. In the chat that's a... just downright illegal. Well, they're both illegal. This is some furry on Twitter going, Holy hell, I'm invigorated to start another informational thread about zoophilia. This time we're tackling animal consent, or rather simply the idea that animals are ignorant of sex, aside from reproductive purposes. Exciting, yes? Let's dive in, shall we? No, that's Wait, not. Wait, are we still on Discord? <laughs> <laughs> was, this, was this a Discord press release? <laughs> Sound Wumpus. <laughs> this is their newest feature update. <laughs> this is Wumpus talking. <laughs> this was in the patch notes. <laughs> I tripped Wait, over the no. power cord trying to make this post earlier. Wumpus is probably like their cum sock in Discord HQ oh, that they all take turns oh, fucking. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what if Wumpus is like this mascot little plush toy in the office they all take turns fucking? Ooh, that's what I just said. Oh, yeah, it's sorry. even yuckier than a cum sock. Ugh. I mean, they're both the same thing. I guess. Oh my god, okay, I'll just read these two because Charlie is right, these are literally hundreds of messages this yeah. idiot sent. Uh, it says, in the last 10 to 15 years, scientific evidence has begun to accumulate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure. This, this, yeah. this is a testament to how amazing the human mind is using studies to justify fucking animal carcasses. Uh, scientific evidence has begun to accumulate that animals do experience a general sensation of pleasure, as anybody who has stroked a cat will know. In t oh, fuck, you creep. In 2001, <laughs> for example, psychologists Jeffrey Bergdorf and Jock Penskep discovered that l lab rats enjoyed being tickled, emitting a sort of chirpy laugh outside the range of human hearing. And not only that, they would actively seek out the feeling. Oh my god. Wow, oh, this is fucked up. Can you imagine being the scientist that wrote that paper, thinking that it'd actually be a good discovery, like, hey, animals can feel happiness and stuff, and then this fucking yeah. lunatic uses it as evidence to fuck his rats and his dogs? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'd be so upset. You're a scientist with good intentions who just go, hey, you know what, I'm going to study why cats love getting petted on the head and why dogs love scratches. Yeah, it's so wholesome. And this guy goes ahead and takes it as an excuse to rape them even though apparently the rat's laughter is beyond human hearing anyway so i don't know what the fuck he's getting out of it ah oh. he's got a microphone he can he can pick up on rats <laughs> chirps or whatever he's trained his ear <laughs> yeah jesus all he hears is consent when he hears a dog whistle he just <laughs> his, gets an erection his fucking twitter profile is so fucking creepy too because he's just posting high-res photos of like wildlife like tigers and oh, cheetahs mm. and and like normally it'd be like Wholesome and nice photos like, whoa, that's a cool photo of a of a of a tiger. That's great. Oh, but like there's specifically ones where you can see it's like ass and I'm oh, no, no, thank you. Not those kind of and knowing wanna, and knowing uh, who's behind the, exactly. the pictures. The reasoning really for him posting those photos is not not wholesome. Nah, not what I want. I'm good. I'm out. Fuck. Yeah. So just from skimming it to the, the rest of it is just him explaining why it's scientifically premeditated to molest animals. Oh, he oh, okay, well, that. going down his timeline, he's also defending pedophilia. As that's yeah, it shouldn't really be surprising. Mm -hmm. right, yeah, mm -hmm. right, well, yes. isn't that just because all all the dogs he fucks are only like eight years old or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you, you it's all have, pedophilia. You can't have he one only without fucks the other. Twenty year old dogs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're like they're pretty much dead. <laughs> oh. I think Wait, that's probably why he fucks corpses too. This sick fuck. <laughs> They're old well, enough now, three why. years after it's died at 15. 
Oh. He, I, one thing that really stuck out to me is when he was talking about the corpse fucking thing, he'd use emojis like flowers and stuff, like <laughs> fucking a dead corpse and then put like a flower emoji at the end. It's a lot like just paying it's respect a, to its beauty. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's fucking Wait, so disturbing. Did he admit that he has... What corpse... What corpse is... A, are, Jesus, what corpse is he fucking? Is it like an animal corpse or a human corpse? He didn't, uh, that I didn't really get too deep into. The necrophile stuff was more towards the bottom of at least the chain that I was reading. So I'd already pinched off my shit. But what I got out of it was more him just going in like a general discussion about why being a necrophile is good and okay and encouraged in his mind, his sick, twisted mind. There was a he never really gave like an example. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I really, I we share a planet with these people. Yeah, I know. Those yeah. people those people have a say in what happens in the world. Yeah, he gets the right to vote. So he says at mm. the end, I don't know if this is the same thread, a different one. Uh, PSA, leave your fragile feelings at the door. And let's talk about the research and support more research being done on the topic. That means not trying to kick zoos out of the mainstream discourse, growing a spine and not coddling the loosely defined LGBT plus label. At its core, the LGBT plus community is meant to help educate the general public about misunderstood sexual and gender identities. You are standing antithetical yes. to that when you plug your ears and screech fucking animals isn't a sexuality. Grow the fuck up and educate yourself. I promise you they don't want you, dude. The gay people... Yeah. The bisexuals, I, I, the 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 gay, the I mean, lesbians, the, the transsexuals, the the plus, whatever the fuck the plus stands for. None of them want you, dude. Not one of them. It just fundamentally like damages any cause you assign, like associate yourself with. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I, it, it, when he posted this, it kind of got big on Twitter, and a lot of different zoo files came out to talk about it. And for a little bit, I was seeing a whole bunch of posts from a bunch of different zoo files, all like. We're going to look back on this in 10 years and we're going to look at it as an atrocity on the same level as something like the Holocaust, you know, how zoo files oh, were treated. My Lord. Yeah, it's it's fucking scary, man. Imagine I'm OK with that. Imagine being like a gay person in the 60s or whatever. And you're like, hey, could, could we like get married and not be shunned in public and, you know, killed or castrated for being gay? And you think you're fighting for people's humane rights. And then 50 years later, this dude is arguing to fuck his rats. Based on <laughs> based on your movements, <laughs> poor people. I mean, yeah, this kind of makes everything else look reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just fundamentally, fucking ass. I'm completely fine with consenting adults doing whatever they want with each other, no matter what. Th th this crosses the line. This crosses and it many on the line. many lines. <laughs> it does. Like at the, I mean, at the end of the day. You can you can be a furry and still be a functioning member of society. Like, fine. You want to dress up like an animal or pretend you are one or whatever. Fine, as long as you're doing it with other consenting adults. It, this is this is something else. This is another this is another step. Don't do that. Don't take that step. Mm -hmm. And fucking dead human bodies does not equate to consenting adults. Exactly. By the way, <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> Uh, I know you think you're honoring them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's like not like fucking somebody while they're dead and not giving you any response. And you thinking that's consent is like if if I stole money from my grandma's purse and she doesn't know about it. So she consented to it. No, it. No, that's not the same thing at all. Holy shit. OK, let's. Yeah, it, uh, um, what are we at? We're at one hour and four minutes. Um, I still mm -hmm. have three big topics. What should we do? I have. The flattest flutes, voicemails, and Justin Bieber fighting Tom Cruise. What do we want to do? Pick like two of them. I think we have enough time for two of those topics. Uh, uh, let's get rid of the voicemails since we've done them for like yeah, the last we, three yeah, weeks. Yeah, let's just do the other two for today then. Okay, so... Wait, no, I'm still going to give out a voicemail number. We've got to do, do that. But flattest flutes, Mario contest. So I figured... <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so... Douglas of the Who's Right podcast was nice enough to put us in touch with the flattest flute guy, the whistling butt plug thing. So I think Andrew should be getting a shipment of butt plugs <laughs> <laughs> one of these days now. You, you're going to use them, right, Andrew? Sweet, dude. <laughs> yeah. I got to test them you all to out first. Them. Yeah. 
Yeah. Absolutely. You want all of your friends to have a defective one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, next week, if you get it, if you get them in time, which you probably should, I want to hear a, a nice little uh, <laughs> symphony yeah. on air. Yeah, I'll uh, yeah. I'll record them all separately and string them together to make a wonderful piece. Oh, an orchestra. No, no, I just want to hear you fart into the microphone with it. <laughs> An ass the concerto. Dick. Well, do you, do you have to insert it to play it? Because it's a butt plug, right? Well, you can yeah, blow into so it with your mouth, but then it's Yeah, a mouth let's put plug. the butt That's plug on my mouth. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you, could do, you could maybe try ass to mouth. I don't know. Um... So, I mean, I, I, I honestly will probably just, like, wash it in the disinfectant and then play it like a regular whistle and see what it sounds like. You, okay, you don't, have to, like. you don't have to use the same one, Andrew. You're getting multiple. <laughs> you don't have oh, to well reuse then I'll, it after it's been then in your I'll, ass. I'll, I'll, make a, I'll make a harmony of... Damn it, he wants to. Uh, no, I'll do a harmony <laughs> of two at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah, spit roast yourself with a flute. He doesn't want to play music unless he can taste it, goddamn. <laughs> do a duet with your ass in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, like so that, my well, idea was one man band. You guys are in America; they, he can't ship it anywhere else. So you guys are gonna get it. Uh, I also no. loved how I asked Charlie if he could give me an address to ship them to, and he immediately just said, "Ship them to Andrew," not putting himself on <laughs> the <thought>, line. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I, I get a bunch of flashlights, so I'm definitely not against it. I didn't know Kaya shared that he was getting Flatus flutes with the boys. So I thought it'd be a really fun surprise to get it to Andrew. He oh, opened it up no, and just no. get like a whole fucking box of butt okay. plugs. So, yeah. so here's my plan. Charlie and Andrew, you will sign them. Ship them to me <laughs> in Europe. I will sign them. I'll ship them to Jackson to sign. Yes. He'll ship them back to you guys in America. So next time we do a con, I don't know if we have one this year or next year. Those will be like your markers in John Wick, like the ticket in John Wick 3, okay? Come to us at the convention with your signed butt plug. We'll verify the authenticity of the marker. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a big sniff. <laughs> yeah, it smells like my ass. <laughs> I'm not touching anyone else's butt plugs. I can, oh, I, uh, so, I can put that down in my contract. Okay, I, I forgot a crucial step here. When Mario Maker comes out, I, I figure we could make like... It's almost impossible to beat tracks, all four of us. Put them on our Patreon, so any patron who beats all four of them gets a butt plug signed by all four of us. And if you, I love that that's idea. That's a very yes. good idea. Yeah. Yes. And but if you, you need, you have to show us proof. You have to show yeah. either like you take a photo of the end screen or record your gameplay or something. You can't just say it's that you 2019. did. It's 2019. Everyone and, can record it for yeah. free. I will analyze the footage, the spectrogram. I don't want to get Donkey Kong, <laughs> what, whatever that Bill Mitchell. What was that? The cheater's name? Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell. Yeah, I'm not gonna get Billy Mitchell. Okay, it's gotta be solid proof. So, uh, if you pass all. Our four Mario Maker tracks, you will get a signed butt plug that whistles from all four of us signed. And next time we're in town, in Tampa, most likely, bring them to us. Say you're cashing in your tickets. Say you're Giordani, Javavovich, or whatever. And we will go out, we will take you out drinking, all on us. Uh, I, I don't fucking Giordani, know how to make this Javavovich. even more convoluted. Stand in a pentagram and summon Lucifer, I don't fucking know. We'll do, we'll do Pepper Parade 3, I don't know. We'll shake your hand and say thank you. <laughs> Please, why did you why did you want this? Yeah. <laughs> you wanted this butt plug? <laughs> uh, Ew. Wait, wait, wait. I've I've confused. So are we giving away the butt plug that we all signed to the winner of the Mario Kart thing? Yeah, uh, the however Mario Kart, many Mario Maker thing. So however many we get, I don't know how many Andrew's gonna get of those. So let's say oh, ten. Right. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a surplus we're gonna have I, a surplus. I hope they deliver a fucking a pallet of them to my to my apartment. Just a literal like forklift carrying a big load of it. <laughs> That'd make me so happy. Just sell them on yeah. eBay. Tell us you lost them. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't find my flattest flutes, guys. Well, We'll have a few to give away, though, right? So we can use it for incentives for other things as well. Yeah, if you want, but I well, not necessarily. So I'm thinking if if Andrew gets ten of them, so the first ten people who beat all four of our Mario Maker tracks, they are the ones who get them. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So then we ship it. We ship it to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's this whole thing about the convention then? Well, that's like an extra re reward. We uh, the first round is on us. I don't fucking know. We just buy them booze. Jackson. He's just saying. He's just saying that we'll figure a way to reward the the people who do it. Okay. So wait, if they bring a flattest flute to the convention, then yes. we do something. Yes. For that. Okay. Okay. So it's completely separate yeah. from the Mario Maker thing. Now, Kai, okay. have you okay. have you heard the flattest flute in action? Yeah. 
Where can you find it? Because I was looking for videos to try and see what kind of <laughs> whistling sounds it can make. Well, fine. You should ask. Anthony actually plays it with his mouth on one of the voicemail episodes to show oh, it off. Oh, that's not the same as playing it with your ass, though. Yeah, yeah well, it would yeah, resonate not differently. A camera, you, need the, I'd, I'd, you need the <laughs> subtle Dawson tones of a butthole to really get the sound out of it. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll ask them, Charlie, if they can record something for you. <laughs> their assholes. Yeah. I'd like, I'd like to hear what it sounds like in its prime form. <laughs> it's from Dr. Steve. That's the guy who makes it. <laughs> In intended use. So that's my announcements. Here's hoping the Flattus Flute guy doesn't let us down and you know blow this whole thing into the water. I I'm hoping Andrew will actually get those flutes. Mm -hmm. um, Me too. Okay. Oh, well, uh, okay, so the Keanu Reeves... Uh, not Keanu Reeves, sorry. I'm automated, just loving him. The Tom Cruise versus Justin Bieber story isn't really... I guess I didn't have much material. It's As you guys know, Bieber called Tom Cruise out on Twitter as a joke to fight him on UFC. Yeah. Uh, Dana... Dana... What's this guy's name? Dana White said White. that it would, it would make for an amazing event and they would make a ton of fucking money if they agreed to it. It's basically it. They're arguing that it would be bigger than Mc, uh, McGregor versus Mayweather. Probably would be. Probably would be. I agree. I think it would be too, but mm -hmm. I, there is absolutely no fucking way Tom Cruise agrees to being seen on camera without his height being edited to so where he's like seven feet tall in every movie. <laughs> I don't know. He does all his own stunts and shit. Maybe he will. He, yeah, but uh, so he's not seen the, as a midget thing. he is. Tom, yeah, Tom Cruise does his own stunts, but in every movie, they literally film him at certain angles and on, like, little boxes to make him look taller. They can do that at the fucking event. <laughs> Just make the event, like, nobody's actually allowed in the audience, or, like, they're sunken <laughs> down a whole lot, so it's actually below no, the stage. No, Like, they're looking up at him. At the event, just make him wear platform sneakers. Yeah, give him stilts, so he can yeah. stab... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin Bieber. Have him have him fight the ghost of Vernon Troyer so he looks massive. No one? Okay. Uh, I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, wait, Vernon mini Troyer me. was mini me. Yeah. Mini me. Oh, yeah. oh, I forgot. I forgot. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Continue. Uh, well, I mean, that was it, I think. That was it. I didn't vouch <laughs> for another good topic. I'm sorry. Uh, <sighs> Fucking I'm just gonna play the momentum voicemail. on that one dying. No, yeah, it just wasn't a great topic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I think we can take that one out. There's gotta be a dot. Okay, come on. I, I don't have to have 100% accuracy here. Um, Jackson, you said you made a fun about fursuits, or maybe it was me, maybe Andrew, maybe Charlie, maybe all of us <laughs> making fun of furries, but uh, I, I feel like that's all of us. Yeah, yeah. So these boomers went back and watched our Casino Royale episode. I told you guys it would come up. Come, come up <gasps> back later, right? That's not a fursuit. Yeah, well, they think so. So listen to this, you furry Jackson. I'm loving it. You're I, fucking I, angry. I am as bad as one of those 12 year olds because I've been I've been Googling anything I could find out about this fucking Kaya. I, I went down this whole fucking I didn't do shit at work today other than I, I watched some fucking video of them. I think it was called like Casino Royale or some shit. And I think it was the first time that they all four were in the same room recording. Mm -hmm. Kaya looks fucking miserable through the whole fucking thing. Like, no. I, I know that oh, one of them dressed did. up as like a Pokemon or something. He's got like a, like a fucking furry con. It... <sighs> all right. Two things. I was not miserable. I was telling the story of how my plane almost crashed, which is slight harp hyperbole. It was it was uh, turbulence, but I think it's fair enough to say we almost crashed and I died. That's why I may have looked uh, miserable, and that was not a Pokemon or a furry suit. Okay, we would not have a furry on our cast. Any yeah, would you like to defend yourself, a Jackson? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a furry. Suit. It was it was a, it was worn ironically. Okay, it just it <laughs> made the most sense. It was a gimmick. I was just <laughs> pretending to be a retard. <laughs> You're that meme. <laughs> Yeah, you're uh, ruining he actually this man's life. Twice. Jackson and I streamed uh, Planet Coaster one night, and he wore it then too for some inexplicable reason. It wasn't even the same day. Like he just went and put on the costume and came back just to play the game. I, on think stream. I thought it was just a fun little gimmick. I mean, I can't judge him for that. We all wore all of our suits and played Mario Kart or whatever the fuck it was. That's true. That was kind of plus. Charlie cute. and I have kind of similar styles, so if. We had both been sitting there on the stream. It would have just been two white shirts, basically. And I thought 
something might be needed to break up the monotony of two white shirts. <laughs> okay, that's that's a very pull out of thin air excuse <laughs> to wear first suits. <laughs> <laughs> it was authentic. That was an actual. That was an actual thought process I went through uh, when choosing my wardrobe for that stream. <laughs> okay, um, and okay, I'm trying to call the the clips here. This kid called in. I think this kid could be a rival to the bathing in milk. This is just as I'll just play it. Apparently, we're epic. I'm here from the boys over at Pod. You guys are epic. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, so they had a bit of a laugh at our expense. <laughs> Kaya, you're ruining these men's lives. No, but they sounded they were like just they were just laughing at us. What are you talking no, about? But no, but like he starts out with, when he's looking at us, he's like, I've tried to find out everything I can about this show. I just, I <laughs> well, engross it. So. And for fucking four episodes of their show now, they've just been listening to our <laughs> audience's shit. Six, actually. Okay, let me Six. explain it. So to be fair, so have we. Here's the, here's the fun part for me personally is uh, I told them, I told it to them in private as well, but they start out these episodes and they're laughing and they know they're going to ham it up for a comedic effect and they're going to get a bunch of voicemails from 12 year olds. They're going to get to mock us. And obviously they're getting some exposure. So they, they have some optimism or uh, euphoria about doing this. But by the end of it, after 40 minutes past, they are genuinely pissed off and bored doing voicemails, listening to 12 year olds calling and calling us epic and bathing in milk. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just play it out like this. We've I'm going to give the Who's Right guys a break because apparently they're very far behind on all the voicemails they've been getting. I think they deserve a week. <laughs> 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 I don't know when they're going to finish the fucking episodes. So I'm going to use a new number this week. I'm going to definitely go back to the Who's Right podcast because they've just been such great sports and they just amuse me. But a new one for this week. What should we have people call in and say? Well, who who is the number? Uh, I'm not revealing to. it, not spoiling it. <laughs> I'm just gonna give the number. You're gonna have to call that in to find dubious. out. That sounds dubious. Tell them that they're calling from Opie's new podcast, and and they suck. They're calling from Opie's new podcast. They're fans of Opie's new podcast, and they think the show they're calling into sucks. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Okay, just Even tell, tell us how about this. Bad. Tell Fair. us how you feel about the flattest flute competition. If we if we can make anything, improve anything. If you have suggestions, um, if you want to leave us death threats, you can do that too. I don't care. The number is eight five seven three four two five seven four six. If you want to leave us any kind of a message, I don't care. If, even if you're just, you know, 10 years old and you want to tell us to bathe in milk, there's Andrew Googling the number. Don't fucking spoil it, you cunt. That's not me. <laughs> okay. That was me. Okay. Uh, Jackson, then. Don't spoil it. That's 857-342-5746. Okay. Call. One more time. All, all right. 857-342-5746. <laughs> Now God, I've Googled it. Now I've Googled it, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you still don't spoil it. Oh, or, I see. Please call in. I mean, you can leave us uh, messages like this, which I think this was very succinct. Oh, I fucking love you guys! Oh! <laughs> uh, thank you for that one, whoever you are. All right, um, to play us out, did you want to do your quiz show thing, Andrew? Sure. Okay. Everybody it's ready? Everybody at the start? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I'm winning, aren't I? Shut the fuck free. up. You're only winning because our guests, oh, yeah. for some reason, have pity with you. Sympathy yeah, vote. You're winning fuck through charity. I, that's still winning, bitches. Let's go. You've never guessed right. anything. Isn't that right, Keanu? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Uh, no, I have. <laughs> I've definitely. I've definitely. Yeah. I guessed something. I think... Oh, it might have been on a bonus. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, where is it? Okay, here, here it is. Oh, I, close the chats. Dexter's lab. Charlie got it. All right, well, that was fast. Yeah. That was immediately recognizable. Yeah, I wanted an easy uh, one this week because you guys have been pissing them away the last couple weeks. 
Not true. Tucker got the last yeah, one. Yeah, that's Tucker. He's not on the show. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last one? Uh, the last one was uh, Mario Party. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Yeah. So I thought oh, I'd throw you a real softball this week. So that's true. Next week I'll make it hard again. Is Does he get one point or two? Is this a... You didn't name a franchise. There. Just one. There's there's okay. no bonus for an easy one. Yeah, there's no franchise there. Yeah. Okie dokie. Oh, wait, Charlie point gets two Charlie. points. It's from the, the Dexter's Lab franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You're right. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 All right. Did we want to have uh, things we like? Yeah. Sure. It's up yeah. to you guys. Sure. Why not? All right. They might seem like cynical dicks, so they're going to throw this into the mix. Just so you don't think they're dead inside, it's the things we like corner. So, as right. some people may know, I've I released uh, my hentai porn game early. I think it was Saturday. So, there's been a few days of nice comments and everything. So, what I like this week is. Porn game users because they are honestly <laughs> some of the most helpful, you. friendliest <laughs> bunch. <laughs> that too, but also yeah. the, the game. The game released in a pretty buggy state, uh, just because it's the first version of the game. Um, they were so like understanding of that and helpful with posting suggestions and not being like up in arms. If this was like a, if this was any other video game, people would be review bombing this game currently. But these porn users were there with their fucking. With their shields defending me. It that, was beautiful. That's a good so point. thank you to everyone. I well, I think you spoke too soon. I think you countered your chickens before they hatched. I'm gonna make a change.org petition to redo the last season of your game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I mean it's it's uh, I'm putting out a bug fix soon. So. <laughs> yeah. I heard the drawer wouldn't open in Sansa's room. Is that the bug? No, it, it, it <laughs> no, the bug How dare well, you. there's plenty of bugs, but <laughs> that uh that that drawer is meant to be locked until a later point in the quest but you can mm. open it as soon as the game starts so it kind of like makes the whole quest line useless so, so that'll okay. be fixed what you're telling me is there's bugs in a free game are you gonna seppuku mm -hmm. and kill yourself or what no i don't even want to continue anymore <sighs> Unbelievable. i'm thinking of just shutting the whole project down <laughs> he, i knew it was a pump and dump scheme <laughs> <laughs> dismantle the studio <laughs> fire everyone no but yeah uh, That's what I like this week. Okie dokie. Porn game users. What, what is a they're, URL? They're very friendly. What's a URL people can go to to uh, download yeah, it? Yeah, you can go to teamgodswood.com. Okay. And there's a downloaded link there. All right, sweet. There you go. Sounds good. Andrew. Uh, I have a brand new favorite bad movie of all time. Like a favorite movie that's like, so. it's a bad movie, but it's amazing because it's a bad movie. Uh, who killed Captain Alex? It's it's been around for a while. It's been passed around on the internet. It's not a, it's not like I've discovered a new a new thing, but it is a movie from Uganda, and it is one of the best things I've ever watched in my life. They they hired a guy to be in the movie called a video joker, which is literally just they got like Uganda's only let's player to do his commentary over the movie. And it's not like a bonus DVD feature. It's literally just him talking over the actual movie that's in the final cut of it. And like you would, it's just such an amazing amalgamation of like a, a group of people earnestly trying to make an action movie, like just wanting to be there and having fun. There's a part where like there's a whole fight scene that breaks out and everyone's just beating everyone up. And it's very clearly poorly rehearsed. But the guy who's doing all the commentary track starts going everyone in uganda knows kung fu and just all this really funny shit <laughs> oh oh uh, it's 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 so entertaining from start to finish it's it's got a lot of heart in it because i looked into it a little bit apparently not a single person on the movie was paid because i mean it's fucking yeah, uganda I'm, I'm looking at it. it says it's got a budget of 200 yeah 200 <laughs> half, half of the props are are like nerf guns and plastic toys and like sticks that they pretend are rifles it's really great it's really charming but yeah it was made on no money by a dude in uganda who just makes movies to entertain his village and it is it is it is unironically like one of the best action movies i've ever seen just because of how entertaining it is and just like there's a part where there's a bar fight and clearly no one knows what they're doing so everyone's just fucking around and one guy throws a real bottle at someone and it fucking shatters <laughs> on the wall and it's like if he actually hit him with it he would have fucked him up 
<laughs> it's so good. I, I cannot recommend it highly enough. I think the whole movie's on YouTube. And it yeah, just, it is. yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone posted the link to it. It's, uh, it's, it's well worth a watch. If you, like myself and Charlie, and I think all four of us actually love watching movies that are like, they're bad, but they're funny bad, like The Room and everything of that. Please, for the love of God, add Who Killed Captain Alex. It's, it is uh, genuinely entertaining from start to finish. I highly recommend it. That's my pick. Jesus, it looks like they actually just killed a man from what I know. I'm watching. You the, sure this isn't the, a snuff film? The beauty of their stunts is they aren't stunts. It's like they're just actually fighting each other and pushing each other and throwing <laughs> shit at each other. stabbed this guy in the neck and blood started <laughs> pouring out. So good. Wait, oh, what? How, how could that be made on a $200 budget? I mean, he has, a, he has a basic editing software. He probably pirated it. Imagination. But yeah, like, they're, like literally, they wear goggles and snorkels and they're fucking kids' pool toys. And they have the, they have guns that are literally Nerf guns spray painted black. <laughs> Charlie, remember so this is in this is in Uganda where you have to pay people a tenth of a nickel a day. There's a part where mm. uh, there's a part where they're in a restaurant or a bar and everyone's got like a light blue liquid in their cups to like drink. And I looked it up; it's apparently paint. And they they just had <laughs> paint on the set, so they thought it would make an exotic drink that everyone would be drinking. <laughs> It's Holy so great. Shit. I love Wait, this did movie. they drink the paint? No, no, but they put it at all the oh, tables okay. so it looked like everyone was drinking paint. <laughs> it's 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 a very charming and endearing movie. Like, I have nothing negative to say about it because, I mean, objectively, of course, it's a shitty movie, but just for the all the heart and yeah. effort they put into it and absolute lack of money, it's very, very, very entertaining. Lovely. That's lo- I would call I it I've lovely. It. It's lovely. I know I've seen it, but I really don't remember it very well. I'll, I'll watch it again with you, man. I, I love this fucking movie. <laughs> Charlie, you want to go go half season like a 200 buck movie and just put Heart Turbo out there? Because Netflix is clearly <laughs> just giving us the cold shoulder yeah. right now. <laughs> That'd be cute. I, I don't oh, care if Heart Turbo has to be Ugandan. <laughs> get them to do it. <laughs> God, I, I can't even get over this movie. There's a part where a fight scene is breaking out and the choreography is amazing because they're just doing like impossible flips because they're literally helping each other during the fight. And just the guy who they hired as the video joker, the over commentator, he's just going, what is happening? What is happening right now? What is going on? And that's like in the movie. It's not director commentary or anything. It's in the actual movie. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, I highly recommend this movie. Please go watch it. It's great. Your turn, Charlie. Mine this week oh. is auto brawler games like Team Fight Tactics and Dota Underlord. I never played the genre before, and I really like it now. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I love the enthusiasm, Charlie. <laughs> Putting so much effort into this, where Andrew just rambled on for ten minutes, and then you throw in a half-hearted sentence, and you're done. Have you ever noticed that's a pattern? That's a pattern. (laughs) Every time I bring something to the things we like corner, I'll go for like ten minutes, and then Charlie's is just, "I found this thing, I like it, and it's fun." (laughs) Yeah, it's succinct. It's (laughs) easy. That's That's all he has to say. Uh, Really, nothing else. All right, Kaya. Come on, Kaya, give us enthusiasm. <laughs> no, just <fun>. just <laughs> All right, well, uh, I am changing my <laughs> official celebrity crush from Ariana Grande to Halle Berry. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Dude, that's so, an interesting choice. Yeah, oh, dude. I was watching John Wick 3, right? So I'm watching this thing. Mm-hmm. She has a perfect fucking jawline body. She looks so young. She is 52. I googled this. I know. Yeah. Google images of her and then Google... This is so fucking adorable, man. There's footage of her training with two German shepherds on YouTube where, you know, in the how in the movie she has two German shepherds, Charlie, where she sicks them on people yeah. and they just go around biting people in the face and balls and just killing shit. Yeah. Fucking awesome. But it's so adorable watching them train. So Halle Berry is 52 years old and she looks so damn fine. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. They're not that is they're not German shepherds, by the way. They're they a not? special breed of dog that's super rare. They're a cross between I can't remember what they're called, Tiana can tell you. It starts with like an M, I think. They're they're like the most athletic creatures on the fucking planet though. I was watching videos of them after the movie because Tiana thought they were really cool. They can jump like ten feet in the air. I watched the video <laughs> I saw jumps, in the movie. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that that would that was real stunts. Like it jumps from ground level over a tree. Not, granted, not a full tree, 
but a decent sized tree, one that I couldn't is reach it, if I jumped up high. Is it a melanois? Is that it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. They wow. are German shepherds. Yeah. Sorry, they are melanoids. Uh, apparently, uh, for the movie, she worked like a real dog trainer and shit to get him to do all yeah. that. That's cool, dude. It's fucking adorable, man. She, she like worked apparently six months with these two melanoises. They're adorable <laughs> in the movie, but oh goddamn, Halle Berry is such a little treat. Mm. Fifty-two years old. I don't care. That's a milf right there. She looks so goddamn good. Uh, also, yeah, Keanu Reeves himself, 53, 54, what the f- how old is he now? How do they look so good? Is this a John Wick blessing, a curse? I don't even know what to call it. Hollywood diets. Ho- I don't know if it's Hollywood no. diets or if they sacrificed yeah, somebody's baby to Lucifer, but I, I want that. I want to look like that. I already have graying hairs. I look older than Halle <laughs> Berry and I hate it. that's why the kids it. hate Keanu Reeves. Fuck. All the kids hate Keanu Reeves because they're scared of him, because they- he, he bathes in their blood. <laughs> He's like a... That's why we talk to the kids. Children. And bully them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I love uh, Halle Berry. Halle, um, you know, I'm, I'm young, virile. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, of course. Well, this may, this may, li- this may make you like her a little less. We'll, we'll, tra- we'll take this oh, corner no. into a darker direction. Did you know Halle Berry in the early 2000s, I think? was involved in a drunk driving hit and run where she hit someone, uh, didn't report it, and then went to the hospital la- later and then claimed to be the victim in the whole thing. She played the victim I, card real hard. I want to be the drunk hit and run on her ass. Is that a fair okay, statement? Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess I didn't bother him at all. <laughs> Dude, she is fine for a 52-year-old. I don't care. Holy shit, those are amazing genes. Ellie Berry, if you want to come on the show, not to defend yourself, but just to give me a shot at dating you, <laughs> please. Uh, Ariana Grande, step up your game. I don't. How old is Ariana? Anyway, well, I'll 23. get... 23. I'll get back to you once you age 30 years. <laughs> yeah, Kai's into old women now. She doesn't look old, though. I don't care. I know. God, she's so fucking good looking in that goddamn movie. Great movie, by the way. Check it out. Okay, that's it. Um... Does anybody else have anything? No, nope, that's not. about it. All right, do you want to end this one, Keanu? Yeah. All right. Take us out, Jackson. <laughs> Charlie didn't say yeah. Yeah, take time. us out, Keanu. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I do didn't it interrupt. Again. Do it again. Yeah. Great acting, Keanu. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we're fucking around, but that's basically all of his acting in the John Wick franchise. Yeah. I mean, he's not a he's he's never been a great actor. Yeah, let's oh, whoa, in terms of whoa, whoa, in terms of Jackson, you sunk whoa, our no, no, fucking no, 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 show. No, no. What's wrong with you? Everybody in talks terms Jackson. Of acting. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna defend. Acting, he's I will also uh, defend him. Okay. No. Have you not, have you seen Bill and Ted? Uh, yeah. I think uh, I think Keanu is a clunky vocal actor, you know, but he's a great physical actor. You know yes, the thing about very John Wick so. is he has a great presence. Yeah. yeah. The thing about mm-hmm. Keanu he's is the watch. little That's details in John Wick were all the scenes where he's reloading his gun. He's a great actor, man. That shit is amazing. Like, that shit Keanu, is just fun Keanu's to watch. not a He's not a traditional hardline badass. Like he's not like fucking Tom Hardy, where you look at him and go, "Whoa, that guy's gonna kick my ass." That guy's huge. Keanu's the kind of guy where he walks in, and it's like, you know, there's something about that guy. I just, I don't want to fuck with him. You know what I mean? I, he's just, he's just fun to watch. He looks like he's got a lot a, going like, on. I think it's physical. I don't, I don't think. Anyway, like, thanks for watching this week. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you can't get out of this one. <laughs> but no, yeah, damn it, don't I, cut I, me I off. I see by that. He's not. He's not a great actor. He's, he's not a great actor. Well, I, I just don't think he's a great vocal. Uh, like when he's speaking, he's not an amazing actor with an amazing voice. Like Anthony Hopkins can sell a line, right? Whereas Keanu, when he says literally any word, he sounds like, yeah, yeah. Hey Keanu, your puppy just died. How do you feel? Yeah. Hey Keanu, you just killed someone. How do you feel? Yeah. That's just one emotion. But, but they physically, kind of, they he's kind of, super they kind of build, fun. They kind of build his roles around that as well. Yeah. He's tight fact that he doesn't... But he yeah, is he a good actor. Talk. I don't hey, think he's a... In mm. Point Break... Or, yeah, Point Break, Bill and Ted, I think he shows some very good acting chops, and I like both those movies. 
I didn't think so. I didn't think his acting was anything good in you the Matrix. You were not either. even born for Point Break, and I doubt Neither you've were seen... you. No, Point Break was like 98. Well, I was born then, but I wasn't watching it when I was one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Point Break well, is from 1991, Charlie. I was one. No, it's not. Point Point Break is 91. I thought it was 98. No, it's... Well, fine, Point then Break speed. is 91. Speed. Yeah, Speed was like okay. 95. Speed. He's not a good actor at Speed either. Yeah, he's great Whoa. in Speed. Okay, the, no, you this deserve to get to slow to watch. <laughs> He's fun to watch. That doesn't mean that he's a good, like... He, he's not a good actor. Anyway. Mm-hmm. I like the Matrix. Anyway. There you go. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching this week's episode. <laughs> if you have hate mail, leave it below. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, let us. Hang on, let's just let, let's let just us kick this down you... the road here. Uh, where's the voicemail number? I lost it. Does anybody remember? If you have hate mail mm-hmm. and if you want to tell us to kill ourselves because we made fun of Keanu Reeves, eight five seven three four two five seven four six. Is mm-hmm. that fair? Don't go don't tell give, them. Uh, go tell us. Yeah. Give us your peace of mind. And our Patreon, of course. All right, thanks. Yeah, patreon.com slash the official podcast. You can also leave you a hate mail there. As Sign long as you up. Pay us money. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye.